My name is Noah Kravitz, and this is my favorite cell phone. It's the HTC Titan. All right, so this is the HTC Titan. Uh, this is the unlocked version, thanks to the folks at HTC for lending me this one. Uh, there is also a version now on AT&T, a locked version in the U.S., $199.99 on contract. And, uh, you know, the Titan so named for the giant display, 4.7 inches. Frankly, I never thought I would like a phone with a display this big, but I do, and I attribute that to three things. One, the operating system itself. I think Windows Phone is custom-made uh, for a, f a screen this big, and I would dare say that it works better. Windows Phone works better on a large display than Android was, and I'll explain why in a second. And it's a matter of personal preference in a lot of ways, uh, but basically I think that the huge design elements here, the big tiles, the, uh, if we go into one of the tiles here, we're going to me, uh, you know, the big, bold typography across the top, all that kind of stuff, uh, the spacing, I think it just really just feels nice and clean and simple and easy to, easy to read, easy to view, nice to look at on a display this big, and actually the low resolution, I've jumped right in talking about the display, but I think it's an important point. A lot of people are saying, well, 4.7 inches, but it's only WVGA. It's, it's 800 by 480. What's the deal? I want more pixels on the screen. I want higher density. You know, Android, we've got HD displays now, 1280 by 720, that aren't even quite this large. And so Windows Phone sucks. I'm going to go the other way, and I'm going to say, because of the way the UI is designed, because of the, uh, you know, the, the boldness of the UI and... Um, or oh, so we'll go back to people here. The boldness of the UI, the way things are spaced out, the big typography, the beautiful fonts, uh, I think it really works well on this display, and the low resolution, generally speaking, is not an issue for me at all. Uh, second thing about this phone that makes me really like it is the thinness, 9.9 millimeters thick. It's not the absolute thinnest phone out there, but it's thin enough that it offsets how big the display is, doesn't make it feel so big and clunky. And then the third thing is just the build quality. A uh, little tiny bit of a creak in here just because of the way that the phone sits in the aluminum shell, but in general this thing is built, it's just, it's solid, it feels luxurious, it feels classy, the aluminum unibody construction is great, the quality of the Super LCD panel is top notch, you know, extreme viewing angles on this thing. Um, the, uh, the blacks are deep black, the whites are nice and uniform. If we switch here to, uh, I think Windows Phone works really well with the dark background, but if we switch the theme, we go to the light background, you can see the whites are nice and white, and the phone, you know, it, it still, the screen still looks great with the light background. Um, but uh, again, with the dark, you know, it looks really nice. There's also HTC paints to make the bezel very thin on the sides, which I think helps as well. Uh, so all those things combine the quality of the build and the design elements, uh, you know, have made me sort of, honestly, when I've tried 4.5 inch and larger, even 4.3 inch displays and larger on Android phones, kind of felt like there's just, there's, everything's just smaller and there's a lot of clutter and yeah, I can stuff a bunch of widgets onto the home pages, but I don't know, I, I kind of want, you know, I'm kind of in a less is more phase, I guess. And um, so having... A less is more operating system just kind of suits me right now. Uh, getting to the phone itself and the hardware itself, you know, my interest in Windows Phone 7 was sort of re-sparked um, by the Nokia Lumia 800, which I still think is a great device. Um, but using that and then using the Samsung Focus S, also out on AT&T now, we'll do a separate review of this one, 4.3 inch display, also a very nice phone, super lightweight, plastic. Uh, using that phone and then using the Titan, you know, really re-sparked my interest in Windows Phone 7 Mango. One of the things about the Lumia that I did not like was no front-facing camera, because I, for one, do use uh, video chat, and I use the front camera sometimes, you know, I like to... I mean, look at my look at my lock screen. It's a picture of myself, so you can tell, you know, I'm vain. I want the front camera. So HTC's got the front camera, 1.3 megapixels. On the back, they've got an 8 megapixel camera, autofocus, dual flash, 720p video capture. And then, as all Windows Phone devices do, you've got that dedicated hardware button to go to the camera, which I really like. It works from lock screen as well. The camera uh, has taken quality photos. I'm impressed with the camera. The 8 megapixel sensor is good. The, um, the autofocus works well. Get a picture here of this box. 
uh, just the quality of the images have been really good. Uh, the 720p video capture is good. A little bit of motion blur. It's not quite as shaky in the hand. I don't have the image stability problems that I've had with some other devices lately. Um, but generally speaking, you know, the low light performance isn't the best. You can see this phone was, photo was taken in low light at kind of a weird angle and you get, you know, it's a little bit grainy. But generally speaking, the photo, uh, the camera has been impressive uh, and the picture quality has been good. Um, I also like with Windows Phone the way that social media is baked right into the device. Not going to get back into another, uh, you know, a, a review redux, if you will, of Mango. But just it's easy to share uh, your photos across, you know, your, really anything on the phone to share it across uh, different social media fronts or across your email. I've got, you know, my two email accounts, personal and work. I can share to Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft SkyDrive. Uh, it's all very easy to do. Messaging, one thing about messaging is you cannot share video clips over messaging, which is kind of odd to me. Most people seem to think it's not a big deal because the quality is better usually over email anyway because it supports larger files. But there are a few people who uh, I know who have smartphones who don't check email on their phones that much but do like getting messages. So anyway, uh, the phone has a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. And uh, this is the new generation, the newer generation, uh, than the first batch of Windows Phone devices like the HTC HD7. Performance has been great. Um, things have been snappy, web browsing, multiple. You've got the, um, the Windows Phone version of multitasking. You can save your apps in the background there and go through them and choose the one you want. I keep wanting to flick up apps to get rid of them. Uh, like on the old Palm WebOS. I miss WebOS. But anyway, uh, performance on the device with the, the single core 1.5 gigahertz chip has been just fine. Uh, I have not felt like it's been laggy at all. And the nice thing about uh, the phone being single core is that you get better battery life. And the battery life on this phone has been impressive to me, especially uh, for a phone with such a large screen. You know, that screen you would think would be eating up all of your power. But I've been able to get through two full days using this phone on a single charge without any problem. I probably don't text as much as you do um, because for work I'm so often using the computer uh, and on Wi-Fi. But, you know, steady use throughout the day, a couple of long phone calls, web browsing, lots of picture taking. You know, and then when the workday is over, uh, using it a fair amount in the evening for, you know, everything. And um, I got through two days and noticed I had about 27% charge left, I think it was, when I went to sleep. So, um, you know, definitely impressed with the battery uh, for sure. The size of the phone, like I said, I think the screen uh, size and Windows Phone 7 really work well together. For me, I have, I guess, fairly large hands, and so I don't really have a problem navigating the display uh, with one finger. When I type on a cell phone, I generally type with two fingers anyway. So I'll do something, uh, I like to type in widescreen mode, so I'll turn the phone this way, and then, um, you know, type like this. So for me, the size of the device hasn't been an issue in terms of navigating um, the display. I know for some people it will be, and that's why you've got, you know, that's why 4.7 is an, is an enormous, uh, enormous size device. But it, it's been much easier to use than I thought it would being this big. Uh, and again, I don't know, something about Windows Phone uh, and the larger screen just really are working for me. So this phone has been my daily driver. Uh, I really, really like it. There are some things about Windows Phone I'd like to see changed. I would love to see this phone come in uh, cyan, like the Lumia 800 does. If this thing had a cyan blue polycarbonate um, shell, that would be awesome. As it is, you know, the bare black is, uh, you know, it's not offensive. It's not, uh, it, it doesn't say anything to me in terms of um, looking awesome, but it certainly isn't a detractor. Uh, you take the shell off here, and um, you know, you've got the unibody construction and everything. Uh, big battery, plenty of life. You know, what can I say? Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and you've got the 3G speeds uh, via, via HSPA Plus. You can see I've got HSPA Plus going on. Uh, again, this is the unlocked version, and the, um, the AT&T version, of course, also supports HSPA Plus. Uh, the live tile's going on. You can see the Spotify tile is flipping around now to show me. Uh, that I was listening to the roots. Uh, you know, the, the, the biggest things I would say about the device, you know, sort of pros and cons wise, um, hardware wise, again, just have to do with the sheer size of the phone if you want something this big. And, and again, I never thought I would like a phone with a screen this large, 
but I really do. Maybe it, you know, the design of it, the OS, etc., etc. The other stuff has to do with Windows Phone itself. Not as many apps, obviously, in the Windows Phone marketplace as you're going to find on iOS and Android, uh, but it is growing, and the number of quality apps is growing. Uh, for me, there's no Sonos app yet, so I use Sonos a lot. I'm kind of bummed out, but they do have Spotify. The social marketing, uh, social media is baked into the phone, which I like, but then you can get your Twitter and you just saw Foursquare, and there's a Facebook app and all that stuff. Uh, the other thing for me is that I want more control over customizing. I think I mentioned this earlier. I would love to be able to turn some of these tiles into like, you know, a folder of apps that I use a lot or that kind of stuff. I like that you can pin web pages and individual people and, uh, you know, all that kind of thing here. So if I go to people and I go to all people and I search for John Rettinger, I can pin him to start. And so there he is. I've got John on my home screen now. And so I can boom, I'll cover up his personal email, but uh, I can boom, get right to John Rettinger, and I can see, you know, his recent stuff and, and all that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, just very cool that you can get right in. I've used Facebook more on Windows Phone, Windows Phone Mango uh, than I have in a long, long time because I never go to Facebook, but I have an account with lots of friends. So I love that you can do that kind of thing. I wish there was better control over apps I w uh, in terms of sorting and that sort of stuff. I wish that I could have a folder and just have like the eight apps that I use the most, or like you can on Android and iOS, you know, have a folder for games and a fo folder for social media apps and that kind of stuff. Instead, I can just pin individual apps, and because I can't control the size of the tiles, you know, pretty quickly I'm going to get to doing a lot of scrolling. Uh, so I can go to my apps list, and again, I wish I could reorder these to have the apps that I use the most up at the top, or to have, you know, the way that when you long press, you get a little drop down menu. Maybe, you know, this could be a folder of social media apps, and when I long press it, I get all of the individual apps down there, and then I can tap one to launch. Something like that would be very cool. As it is, I could scroll, or, you know, I can search, and I can get Spotify, and there it is. So, you know, the, the platform is evolving, and that's why it's not one of the big boys just yet. But I think there's a ton of potential. I love the way it looks and feels, and I think it, it's really well suited to a big device like this. Then again, the Lumia with its 3.7-inch display, I also really like using Windows Phone on that device. So I think I just really like using Windows Phone, and uh, that's why, at least for the time being, I've put the iPhone away, and this is my daily driver. And uh, between that, the big screen... The uh, HTML5 support in the browser I didn't mention, but that's there. Uh, the good camera, you know, all these reasons. Uh, I am really digging this phone right now. So a big thumbs up. It's my favorite phone for now. It's the HTC Titan from HTC, also available as a locked phone on AT&T in the U.S., but this is the unlocked version. Watch a little video here so you can see. It's good stuff. I'm digging it. Thanks again to the folks at HTC for lending me this one. We'll have much, much more on all of the uh, all of the new Windows Phone devices coming out. Speaking of Lumia, Nokia, and T-Mobile just uh, announced an event in New York City December 14th. I'm imagining they're going to launch a Windows Phone device of some sort, perhaps the Lumia 800. Whatever is announced there, we'll bring it to you. And then CES 2012 right around the corner. All kinds of stuff coming at CES, I'm sure, and we will be there in full force to bring it to you as well. Till next time, my name's Noah. Thanks for watching. Technobuffalo.com, your source for the digital lifestyle. Check it out. Bye-bye.